as well. And she will serve to start us off to Mary Brasha. Just nice point construction early on from Fahey. Gets to the kitchen, brings in the draw volley. Mary just can't get behind that last ball enough to get it down the line the way she wants. It didn't look like. A astute observation there, Ben. <laughs> and we like the change there from Brasha. Decided to come into the, uh, up to the kitchen line after that return. Changed it up from her previous few points. Great passing shot right there. And I really think it was it was the initial backhand that got the pop up volley from Brasha. That was the difference maker for Fahey. I think we're going to see both of these players as that one goes wide from Brasha. Just both of these players certainly have the ability to track down those balls and hit some amazing passing shots. So. I think that could be a theme throughout this match, just the great defense, the defensive capabilities of, of both these players, two of the comfortably in the, in the upper echelon of women's singles on the PPA Tour. A little bit of a miss hit on that one volley it looked like by Mary and she never quite recovered. Kate Fahey using the full court on that really, point. Went really good corner. construction of the point there again. Again, just really nice kind of defensive neutral shots there from Faye. He had a very nice drop that again got a higher, more tackable shot off of Brasha. That was a great shot, just out, but she had the right play because Kate was definitely going to the forehand side. She gets off of one, forces the air. She was coming in behind that one. Good, 
Great finish, but really that serve put Kate on her heels and started everything off in a good spot for Mary. I like the change up from Fahey. She's gone cross court on that forehand a few times, but held it and went down the line beautifully. Really nice put away there from Brasha. Just kind of hit it at the perfect point. Really clean contact and able to change direction. Another clean shot right there. She does really well on the run. Her volleys on the run are really clean. That's hard to do. Kind of using that pace and spin from Fahey to her own advantage. Just deep on the serve. Dueling service faults here <laughs> on grandstand. You know, both timeouts have been successful here. They forced a side out and gotten points on both timeouts. So those things can be very powerful. It looked like Fahey had a lot of court to work with she there. She sure did. She tried to use the back corner. What a backhand from Kate Fahey. Serious two-handed backhand right there. Like how she went for the angle. Didn't necessarily hit it through to Vinny Brasha during the timeout. That's a lot of real estate to go back across court with those big wide steps to the right there. That's a tough shot. And the game point here, Kate Fahey. Closes it out with a volley, a reaction volley from Kate Fahey. She takes game one, 11-6 over Mary Brasha. One game away from the court. Tournaments are a fun and exciting way to grow your game. Connect with other players and stay active in the welcoming pickleball community. Whether you're a seasoned player or looking to try your first tournament, we have a place for you. And a strong start here for Mary Brasha in game two. Looking to even things up and send this to a third game. And Kate Fahey trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Trying to close this one out in two. Pretty solid point there by Mary Brasho. And almost identical points uh, almost back identical. to back. Say he finishing that one with a backhand.
Just can't get the roll on that ball right there. She wanted it. I think that's a ball that we're going to see Mary Brasha make most of the time just because she's, I think one of the best parts of her game is just her ability to stay in points and win points from improbable positions. Wow. She almost got out of jail on that one right there, but that was an amazing down the line shot by Kate Fahey. Interesting bounce on For sure. that return. But Mary Brasha will not complain. It looked like Brasha tried to go with maybe a short angled forehand in the middle of that point, but didn't quite get the angle she was looking for, and that really just invited Fahey. He has a good come up to the uh, net right there for sure by Kate. The margin for error on these passing shots is just insane right now. Just in terms of height over the net and in terms of just keeping it in the court horizontally. Mm -hmm. And again, we've seen it a few times in this match, just the forehand of Fahey, just the way, just the shape she gets on it, both the pace and the spin, but also just the angles and her ability to direct it both cross court and down the line with such ease. You know what I'd like to see is I'd like to see a graphic where there's dots where the last ball of every point was at the end of a match. What insights would you like to glean from that? I mean, I would imagine it would just be a perimeter. It would just basically be a checkered perimeter around the court, most likely, based on what we're seeing today. There's another great shot. You'd, it would definitely show the kind of depth, the, the consistent depth that, that mm -hmm. these players get on. <laughs> every shot when they when they try to. And that is a missile from Mary Brasha. Rocket. On the run backhand. This is a much more neck and neck game compared to the first match, the first game. And we did see Brasha have that 3 0 advantage, but it's quickly disappeared. Still neck and neck, though. Pretty generous call there by Mary, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, just from where we are, it looked like it may have been wide, but. And that's Mary Brasha's game right there. Just mm -hmm. able to take that forehand early and go cross court. She wanted that one too. She wasn't in jail on that. She was actually trying to place that ball and she was very balanced. She's going to be a little bit miffed on missing that one for sure. Great return. What did you like about that return? Was it the depth, the pace? I think it was the depth, really. I mean, that's another thing is that Mary's had a lot better opportunity when her serves are deeper. She's had some shorter serves, but when she gets that really deep serve, she can control the point a lot better. See that mid-court serve right there. Wow. 
That's just really good scrambling by Kate Fahey right there. And just a little unfortunate on the overhead. Didn't quite make solid contact with it. In dangerous territory here for the number five seed. Using all the court there, but just couldn't get it to draw. Just going side to side there is Kate Fahey. See that last shot that Mary hit? She she's definitely landing on that left foot while she's trying to hit that ball cross court. Her weight is going way too hard to her left to try to put that ball where she wants to put it. She's got to make a better approach to that ball if she wants to go cross court there. It's just too tough. No easy task when you're kind of being yeah, run around the baseline. For sure. She saw that ball yesterday. I mean, <laughs> she was super early on that one. Saw it yesterday. That's a great phrase. I'm going to steal that one from you, Ben. <laughs> on. Just no love on the net for Mary Brasha. Had a good look at that one. Draw volley. May have been a winner there. Mary's trying to pump herself up here, give it a good run. Four eight's a pretty tight situation to be down a game. See, that started with a really deep serve. You notice that serve was very deep. And she took the net and controlled the point there. She's got to keep hitting those deep serves to have a chance, I think. Wow, she was 80% ahead in that point, and then she was only 50-50 with that soft volley, but she came back and finished strong there. That was good. Nice read from Brasha, and she's within one. Come on! Kate Fahey pumping herself up, stops the bleeding, has another chance to get off of eight. We've just seen a few of those shots from Brasha just kind of hit like that top, top part of the net. Mm -hmm. Like you said earlier, Ben, it's really just a game of margins, especially when it comes to getting shots over the net. I usually just say that it's higher on my side when that happens. Of course. <laughs> that's always that's higher. Then close it out. And that is going to do it. The that number 17 it. seed. On to the quarterfinals, a convincing 